Mr. Hoffman, this is a very quick video uh, showing you how to make some of the components work together in a more reasonable way. Okay, so if you go to the uh, component and then load family and go to the furniture tab, you'll see, or the furniture folder, you'll see that there's uh, some TVs here. So what I've done is I've put the TV and the uh, stand in the same room here, but if you look at this, they're not even, they're, the TV's on the floor. So if you try to put the TV on the stand, so I'm gonna try to move that, it goes inside the stand. So it's not actually going on top of the stand. So what we're gonna do to fix that is I'm going to raise it above the floor and then attach it to the top of the stand. So this is approximately where I want it. So what I'm going to do is over here on elevation, I have the TV selected on elevation from the floor. So it's going from level one. I'm gonna raise it up, I don't know, four feet. Let's do five. Let's do six, just for grants. So we're gonna make the TV float in the air. Okay, so now the TV's floating in the air way above the stand. So now what we want to do is something called a line. So I'm going to choose the TV. And uh, remember in Revit, okay, so if we align, it aligns one with the other. So it gives you a, an example here. If you watch this, what we want to do is choose what we want to align to and then what we want to move to it. So what you want to move to first, and then the thing you want to move. And Revit's very consistent in this. So what we want to do is we want to choose the this component first, and we're going to choose a line. So I'm going to pick the top of the TV stand. So let's zoom in, and I'm going to pick that top. So I'm waiting for that blue line to go all the way around. There it is. I want to pick the top of the TV stand, and I'm going to move the bottom of the TV to that. So I'm gonna zoom in on that TV, make sure I've got the bottom highlighted and click on that. And now if we zoom out, we'll see that the TV is sitting on top of it. So if we uh, zoom out and hit scroll and make it where we can see it straight on, we can zoom in and see that it's right there. So that's how you use the align tool. And there's some other things you can do uh, to make it more centered and that sort of thing, but that's a real quick example of how to connect a couple of components so that they make sense. If you do any kind of cabinet work, uh, you're gonna need to be able to do this with your sinks and your casework. All right, so that's enough for now.